Welcome back to the UBA Classroom. I'm Victor Howell, where we try to break the game of basketball down for you and slow things down so you can see some of the key fundamentals and basics of the game that make it such a wonderful sport when you enjoy watching the game of basketball. And today we're going to look at a give-and-go and the importance of help-side defense. This took place in a game between the Hyderabad Sky and the Chennai Slam. Let's take a look at the play first and show you how it took place and played out during the ball game. You see the big give and go to Thomas, the big man who started at midcourt. He gets the layup and draws the foul on Gopal with a chance to go to the free throw line. So why did it work out like that? Well, first and foremost, take a look at all the space right here. You know who sees all that space? That's Mr. Thomas. He's standing right there and he realizes he has a chance to get what is basically an uncontested play down on the floor. Now, he is being guarded by Gopal. Gopal is an outstanding center for the Chennai Slam, but he's not known for his speed and he, as you can tell, is way, way out on the floor. So there's probably a chance he's going to get beat. That means Gopal's going to need some help defense. And the man I'm going to want you to keep your eye on, and we're going to talk about him in just a moment, is J-Rom, his teammate. Do you notice that J-Rom completely has his back to the ball, not even looking where the ball is right now? Why is that important? Well, here comes Thomas. He's going to make this pass here. Remember, on the give and go, it's going to come right back to him. Let's watch how the play starts, and we'll stop it when he gets to the free throw line. He's already beat Gopal. You see how he's already passed him? Remember I told you to keep an eye on J-Rom, his teammate? Okay, J-Rom is right there. The reason why we have to keep an eye on him is the man that J-Rom is guarding is way over there in the corner, nowhere near the play. But J-Rom is caught flat-footed. When you talk about help defense, this is where help defense comes in. His teammate, Gopal, has already been beat. So J-Rom has got to come help him out. And when I mean help, he has to leave this position where he is on the floor and come in the lane and challenge the basketball. At some point, at least try to put up a roadblock here where he can stand and stop the offensive man. But as you'll see when the play plays out, he stands flat-footed. Thomas gets to the basket. J-Rom walks over, is nowhere near. Gopal is late. He fouls him, and Thomas had a chance to go make a three-point play. It's an excellent vision on the offensive side for the give and go. The man giving the ball saw the opening, and he goes to the basket. But on the defensive side, if your man is more than two passes away from the basketball as a defender and a teammate, it's your responsibility to drop back in the lane and keep an eye on your man, but also keep an eye on the ball. And that way, J-Rom could have come over to help his teammate Gopal and try to stop the drive. Instead, he was caught flat-footed. Gopal was a step and a half late. He fouls, and Thomas had the opportunity for a three-point play. That's all the time we have in the classroom right now. We'll see you next time as we break down more basketball here in the UBA.